Welcome back, folks. Right now, we have Tim Ord on the line. Tim Ord publishes a newsletter called The Ord Oracle. Tim, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us. So, you know, we have a pretty uh, intense week and an intense day. What are you making out of it? Well, I sent you over two charts. Hope you got them. I got them right here. Uh, uh, I think you uh, let's see we're looking uh, at the uh, one that has uh, the first one I'm looking at has the weekly spy support in the VIX and the second one we're looking at a 10 day trend yeah I, I, I sent you another one right after that hopefully we got the right chart okay but, let's pull uh, it up here uh, anyhow the bottom window is a VIX and anything below 17 usually the VIX is in a trending mode and this is a weekly chart and I could have gone back a lot farther, but anyhow, it it anytime the the uh, shaded uh, t- or the shaded pink areas are times when the uh, uh, VIX is below 17, and so I shaded those areas on the market. And we've been below 17 since basically beginning of April, and we're still below 17. We're coming in around 14, so we're so we're in a trending market. Um, but there's some. Uh, I guess breaks in the dam, I guess you might say, is starting to show up. And I circled there on top uh, when the weekly uh, S&Ps, on, this is the SPYs, gets above the, the upper Bollinger Band. Uh, last time that happened uh, was back in November, uh, yeah, about November of last year. And that's a little bit, market's going up too fast. If it gets too far away above the upper Bollinger Band, usually the market uh, uh, gets near a stall area, and we think we're probably going to do that. Um, is there a top today? Not necessarily today, uh, but probably sometime next week. But it's not going to be a, a top of any consequence, not like we had like January of last or this year where the market peaked out and went down all the way into um, or la- actually last year, 2022, mm. you know, December of last, or yeah, it'll be January of last year. Mark went down in October, but we're looking for, we're probably nearing some sort of a consolidation phase. That's what I'm saying, because the market is getting too exuberant here. So when the uh, market on a weekly time frame closes above the upper Bollinger Band, you're you're getting close to some sort of a consolidation. But uh, can flip to, to the next chart. Yeah, we're looking All at right. the 10-day trend right now, yep. Yeah, it's a 10-day it's a trend. Now, this is a daily chart. And again, the bottom window is the um, VIX, and I shaded that in pink every time it's below 17. Normally, you're in a trending market. Mm-hmm. And again, we've been trending up since April. Well, now what's happening, we got the next window up. It's a 10-day average of the trend. And I marked the times in blue arrow or blue lines the time it got down to 0.8 or lower. And at minimum, uh, it goes into at least consolidation. And we have back in 2021, I have two circles on the SPYs there. And I showed you when it got below 0.8, you know, you mark it, you know, at least stalls a little bit, goes sideways, and probably then it starts going up higher again. Other times, if you get on a down market, uh, it it marked significant lows. It picked out the uh, in 2022. It picked out looks like about the the April the August the August high. Uh, picked out the um, March high of last year. And it had a couple of highs in January and February there. Well, if you do today's analysis, the trend closes right around 0.56 uh, or we're at 0.6 right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyhow, right around 0.6, you're going to close on the 10-day trend around 0.8 today. Uh, so you're kind of in the danger zone. So it kind of, with the weekly uh, S&P is above the mid bone or the up on the upper Bollinger Band, suggesting consolidation, and you got a 10-day trend down around 0.8. You know. The time of the rally is kind of ex- getting exhausted here, and today we're up uh, decently. Advanced clients are actually pretty strong, but I think we're going into some sort of at least a short-term exhaustion move. Uh, probably not today is going to be the high, but I think sometime probably early next week. How big's the high? Uh, you know, the worst-case scenario, 
Uh, I didn't draw a trend line there, but you got quite a bit of support around 420. Right. Which is quite a ways down. There's no guarantee we'll reach that, but that's a possible target to the downside. Uh, but in general, this market's going to end up higher this year. We're probably at minimum are going to get back to the old highs back up around that 470 area that was reached in January 2022. But, you know, sometime uh, maybe next week, see a high, maybe the week after at the latest, and uh, uh, probably see a worthwhile pullback that could last into the July 4th time frame. A lot of times holidays can mark highs or lows. Sure. I thought this year could be a high. I think it turned out it could be a low or something. I don't know. But um, right. I'm getting no, – go ahead. No, I'm, you know, so I'm looking at the first chart, too, and, and that's what I was going to ask, right? You can see, you know, in November of 2021 when it, when it really passes that Bollinger Band, right? You get yep. maybe a, a yep. month of consolidation and then a, and then a pullback. Or, do you foresee something like that happening, too, or kind of just consolidation until going higher with what we see right now? Yeah, I think we'll see. I don't think we'll, we're not heading into a major high, but I do have a, a – you know, a support area listed there. I thought we we may get down to support at 420. Yeah. Um, you know, scare everybody, get everybody worried again, and, and probably start up from there. It's kind of hard to pick how you know how this thing is going to consolidate, but I do think it could look similar to what happened back in November of 2021, where it kind of flipped sideways for a couple of weeks and we got a decline. Right. Um, uh, you know, Marcus actually had a. You know, it's been running up since, uh, you know, basically March. Right. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it's it has a decent rally. You know, it's not going to go up forever. So No, certainly. Um, and, and, and definitely over the past at least, you know, month of trading, I mean, it, it has gone out, gone up substantially, right? So. Yeah, it's gone up pretty, pretty, pretty substantially. And so, you know, but, you know, so far, if you look at the bottom window again, I mean, the VIX so far is not showing any danger here, and usually the VIX rises before the top actually happens. There's another interesting indicator. Mm -hmm. Today marks six days up in a row. Uh, if you go back and check history, when the market's up six days in a row, uh, like it is right now, if the market stays up today, which probably most likely it will, uh, if you're up six days in a row, the market will be higher within five days, 83% of the time. So if you're doing odds, you'll see a minor high probably, you know, even today or tomorrow, and the market may pull back, but you should make a higher high within five days, 83% of the time. So at least at worst, today's high is going to be tested probably sometime next week. And that will depend what the VIX does on, on this minor pullback. It will be a minor pullback, nothing of significance. But, you know, it could shake up a little bit. A little bit. And if the market does pull back and the VIX goes up and the market rallies again to test, you know, say today is a high, it's just mm -hmm. – I'm not saying it is, but say we go back up and test wherever the high is, let's say, or tomorrow, and the VIX does not make a, a lower or it gets back above 17, that would actually add quite a bit of confirmation that the market is at least making that worthwhile high. So that's what I'm kind of looking for. Absolutely so. fascinating. Tim, thank you so much for joining us. What you just said, too, about that 85% chance, that's, that's, that's interesting. I would... You know, if that is the case, uh, I would love to check that out. Uh, Tim, thank you so much for joining us. All right. Thank you. Take care now. Bye. Folks, we'll be right back.